Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing what is a business intelligence in data mining. So this is a part like uh, first you mine the data and then you have certain kind of business intelligence that would be requiring to make complex decision making process and other activities. So uh, let's have a look what is business intelligence. So we start with the very first that is basic definition of business intelligence. So BI is defined as a set of mathematical models and analysis methodologies that exploit the available data to generate information and knowledge into useful for complex decision making process. So it's like uh, you have set up some mathematical models, some uh, kind of equations or functions or formulas might be there. Then you have some kind of analysis methodologies like you have the transactional data or historical data of past 10 years or some kind of other uh, project information. So what you do, you have these two kind of information and these are uh, what at the initial stage this would be data so it would be a raw data then you would be using it to exploit uh, or to generate information or noise from that which are further used for complex decision making process so primarily bi is the it is used to provide knowledge workers with the uh, people who are the decision makers they are usually called so they are provided with the tools as well as methodologies that allow them to make more effective and timely decisions. So in business intelligence, these two things that is effective decisions and timely decisions, these, these two are the most important things that they must have to consider while they do the business intelligence. Like we have the artificial intelligence. So what in uh, AI we do, we have the natural intelligence. So from that we take the basic concepts, uh, we generate uh, different kinds of algorithms, we incorporate into machines and then we make work like the how the human beings work. So in business intelligence, the same concept is there, but after data mining, after cleaning, integration and all those KDD activities, what we do, we uh, remove the outliers, noise and all those kind of things and then we prepare one particular kind of data set or data that we have and then uh, that we use in order to uh, uh, gain much uh, important uh, insights to our uh, what corporate life and also that kind of things comes in business intelligence and so we have uh, two kind of uh, points in this we have effective decisions and then we have timely decisions so it's like in effective decisions we have to choose the correct information as well as the knowledge so it's like very much important from the uh, very first stage so at the beginning uh, only it's like uh, you have to clean the data you have to remove the noise and outliers then it must be properly processed and all so it all begins from information and knowledge so and so you have these three kind of uh, terminologies like data you have information and then knowledge so let me explain what is data information and knowledge so for example let's take an example of number 23 so number 23 is just a data so it doesn't give you much importance or like uh, it doesn't give you much idea about uh, anything of number 23 so 23 is just of two digits two and three it could be like uh, it could be someone's age or it could be someone's room number or uh, it could be floor or it could be uh, a number between like a random digit number uh, something at the end or middle or at the uh, beginning so it's like a uh, 23 you don't have much uh, broader aspect or like you don't have that much level of abstraction regarding what is 23 uh, but then too, if I say like 23 is kind of uh, information or it's like it is uh, age or it's a person's age or it's a person's room number or it's a person's uh, what you can say it's an SSN number or social number something like that. So it's like you have that information that this value that is 23 has to be used only at that places and not in place of mobile number or any other place like uh, you cannot put 23 in the uh, place of first name or last name of a person. So 23 is you got that that information has to be updated only to that particular attribute or column. And now if I say like knowledge tomorrow if I have 23 and today if I did that particular kind of activity then tomorrow if I encounter such kind of values like 23, 24, 25 then I have the knowledge that it has to be age because I have been given a much uh, focused idea on what 23 exactly is. So that's what data information and knowledge. So that you have to primarily identify in uh, business intelligence for making the effective decisions then you have better decision making and devising action plans. So it's like uh, if you do the BI then the decision making process is much faster than it was earlier which was done by the human being and so you can uh, devise uh, much uh, greater or much better and efficient action plans. Then uh, you require in-depth examinations and thoughts 
over your uh, decision making process so it will give you awareness as well as some comprehension of the logic for better decision making process it's like uh, you get the summary as well as you get the awareness of uh, what all things must be considered for initiating that particular kind of project so it's like all usual corporate world uh, after you mine the data then you when you apply it to the real life situations this comes into picture then one important thing is you have the timely decisions like in uh, corporate world it's very important that you meet the deadline you complete all the projects and activities on the deadline so uh, enterprise operates in uh, economic environment as well as it finds what's best for a business it's like uh, uh, you require what is best for business and uh, they will consider only those uh, best activities or best task or best resources they require for their industry to go and it's like adapting to new market conditions can lead to survival of a company it's like a, a 10 year old data cannot be applied to a recent company so it's like they have to evolve day by day and uh, what is the new trends that is coming in the IT industry or their uh, other companies what they are adopting so they should have that kind of sound knowledge so that uh, they can foresee themselves in the next 10 years or 20 years and so uh, we have these two diagrams that is scenario number one and scenario number two so this is like uh, after you do the business uh, intelligence kind of things you have certain analysis and questions or doubts uh, to your activity and then you have some alternative actions which will be proposed by yourself then what you do this is a kind of decision maker uh, in this diagram so this is an actor he is a decision maker so it's like uh, you input your actions and questions and alternative actions or solutions uh, by you to this uh, decision maker to this actor so what will he do he will have its own set of uh, decisions and thought uh, process and all so what will do he gives some kind of decisions or some solutions so that may be kind of either unbiased or biased uh, decision so it can be either partial or impartial so that can negatively affect to someone in the industry so in order to avoid that you have this scenario too that is you have the same set of analysis and questions and also you have the alternative actions but then too you have this two actor that is actor is there the decision maker is there along with you have your business intelligence system that is BIS and so what it does it collaboratively gives out the decisions which have many other alternatives to be considered and it produces more accurate uh, conclusions and results and then it has these two principles that is effective decisions and timely decisions so that must be very much be useful for business intelligence activity so that was all about regarding the introduction to bi so hope you guys enjoyed this video found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much